today we're going to construct the point of concurrency known as the centroid. The centroid is the point of concurrency of the three medians of a triangle. So let's remember how we find and construct the medians in a triangle. First we need to remember that the median goes from the vertex to the opposite midpoint. So the first thing I need to do is I need to find the midpoint of each of my three segments. To find the midpoint, I'm going to set my compass a little more than halfway. And I'm going to draw an arc above and below the segment from vertex A. I'm going to do the same thing from vertex C. This allows me to find the midpoint of segment AC. Now right now I'm just going to notch in that midpoint. So I know point D is the midpoint of segment AC and that segment AD is congruent to segment AC. Now I'm going to find the midpoint of segment AB. So I'm going to use my compass again and I'm going to adjust my compass setting a bit so I don't get confused with my lines. I'm going to arc above and below from vertex A and I'm going to do a corresponding arc above and below from vertex C. And again I'm just going to put a notch where my midpoint is. We'll call this point E. And again segment AE is congruent to segment EB so I'm going to use two congruency notches to show that. Now we have one last segment to do, segment BC. I'm adjusting my compass setting again. And from vertex B and vertex C, I'm going to line those up and find the midpoint of segment BC. And we'll call that point F. Segment BF is congruent to segment CF. Now I would need to construct the three medians. Since I already have the midpoints, I just need to go from vertex A to the opposite midpoint. That would be point F. From vertex C to the opposite midpoint be point E. And the last one from vertex B to point D. The point in the middle where they all meet is the centroid. The point of concurrency of the three medians. Let's label that point Z. Now, the centroid gives us something special. The distance from point B to Z is two times the distance from point Z to D. So the centroid gives me a ratio of two to one. Mathematically, what this does for me is if segment BD is equal to 12 inches, then I know that segment BZ gets two parts of this, so that would be 8 inches, and segment ZD would get one part 4 inches and the ratio is 2 to 1. Let's take a look at another triangle. Here I have triangle XYZ and I have the point C is my centroid. Suppose we know that segment CD is 12 centimeters. Then what do we know about segment YD And what can we say about segment 
yc. Well, since this holds in a ratio of 2 to 1, I know that segment CD is one part and segment YC has to be two parts. So segment YC must be 24 centimeters and that means segment YD has to be 36 centimeters. So remember, the point of concurrency of the three medians is the centroid.